This is my 2022 TikTok year in review. Hi, it's me again, back with not great news. Like TSA checkpoints aren't fucking enough to deal with. Finish, mamma mia. We I feel like I'm on an SNL skit here. Are you we it's the end of the world. So that's not great. And we're back with Trump on another truth spree. Surely isn't the Boy Scouts. And what I can only assume is Florida's quest to hurry up and adopt fascism. Lindsey Graham is about to go through some things, but never a bad day after that. Wrath of the Lord God Almighty come upon you. I don't know who we vote for to get him to shut the fuck up, but let's just do that, please. I cannot believe I have to come out of retirement to deal with this. Far right conservatives are just bored. Is that what it is? No, I'm going to believe that someone did this on purpose. So if you think you're having a bad day, imagine being a campaign staffer for Herschel Walker. I would leave this country if I could afford to. Hey, Ohio, explain yourselves. I hate you. Well, this should be good. I'm the dumbest person alive, but you better hope he doesn't die. Was I cleaning my house and stopped just to show you this clip from Pete Buttigieg on Fox News? Technically, no. Pennsylvania, a word. But did I bring you this from Twitter anyway? Yes. Do I have regrets? Some. <sighs> you will not believe. Actually, if you follow me and my content, you, you probably will, but still. What a fucking nightmare. But lately, I have come down pretty hard on Missouri and its elected leaders. And that's not gonna change today. No one is euthanizing their children. Look, I know some of you are real tempted to trauma bond with Liz Cheney. The next level trolling that John Fetterman is doing to Dr. Oz right now. What a time to be alive. But do you know who knew all along? It's just a race between Twitter and TikTok to see who can help send me to hell faster. You know that dude, Thomas Jefferson, that wrote the Declaration of Independence y'all loved quote from so much? God bless the USA. Hi, I'm 34 weeks pregnant. Since Roe v. Wade was overturned, this here fetus is a person. Laughing is a coping mechanism for some of us. Brad Chida, I believe I'm saying that wrong, probably. Is it a simulation? I don't know. <laughs> You'll show up to this little pep rally and gladly put a mask. It's giving very much, I don't think I'm a villain. Just another day of Marjorie Taylor Greene being wrong. It's pretty much what I do here now. I'm the bad guy. Duh. And if you know anything about Gen Z, they don't go quietly. Hello and welcome to today's episode of Republicans Defend Everyone. American Dream. Best country. Truly, I have that goldfish that I've laid to rest with better intentions.